Hi everybody, Tim Coffey here. This episode is part two of my ongoing series of my first art journal. Today I'll be showing you how I bound it with copper wire. But first, I want to thank everybody for checking out my new blog called Caffeine for the Creative Soul. There were so many YouTube people who showed up when I announced it that it briefly appeared in the WordPress fastest growing blogs of the day. So I'm really overwhelmed by the show of support and all the new subscribers to the blog. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Now here's a glimpse at what I was up to this week on the blog for anyone who missed it. I started a box art series. I've been showing my progress on a box canvas. I used a wheat thins box for this one. I plan to keep working on this piece until it's finished and I'll post my progress every day on the Caffeine for the Creative Soul blog. You can find a link to the blog below this video and you can subscribe to receive email updates on the top left menu bar on the home page of my blog. And now back to my art journal. I painted each page inside the journal with a different color of acrylic paint. I punched a series of holes right through all the sheets at the center page spread. I used a sculpting tool that was hanging around my studio to do this, but you could use anything sharp that could pierce some holes. You can see the spacing I used to punch the holes here, but you can use any spacing you want. You just have to remember to avoid any staples that are holding the journal together as you're punching the holes. I cut a piece of wire about three times the height of the journal. I threaded the wire through the first hole, looped it around, and twisted the wire together to get the binding started. I used a pair of flat nosed pliers to pinch the wire at the end to hold it in place so that it doesn't poke anyone. I used the copper wire to stitch the pages together as if I were sewing it. I looped it underneath each stitch, but you can use whatever pattern you'd like for the stitches. You could string beads onto the wire as you're looping it together, or string other things, found objects, or whatever you want. When I reached the end of the wire, I used a pair of round nose pliers to finish off the end. This prevents the wire from poking you as you flip through the journal. Then I cut some strips of cotton quilting fabric and tied them to the copper wire. Now it's a finished blank journal ready to use. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my Caffeine for the Creative Soul blog.